Go. Yeah, man, it's another great episode of Breaking the Beast where we break down business, entertainment, arts, technology, sports, and pretty much anything else I feel like squeezing into those letters. I got my homeboy here. Talk to him, man. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Once again, it is Toga, T-O-G-A, the outstanding great Antoine. It's a pleasure to be here, my brother. Thank you so much. Hey, look, man, I know we was talking earlier about uh, Tyson, Roy Jones. Are you excited about that? Are you going to buy that fight? Are you gonna go to a fight party for it? Um, I've heard on the on 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 the line right now. I said on the line. <laughs> I mm. sound old. Oh, you on the line? I heard I heard you it on line. my phone, but I've heard it <laughs> online and as well. But basically, they're basically saying Roy Jones was like, I might have made a mistake because I'm thinking this is an expedi- uh, exhibition fight, and we just having fun. And we're going to get paid, and we're going to donate some money to charity. Pardon me for the mic, ladies and gentlemen. But um, Mike Tyson only has one speed, and Mike Tyson is trying to hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, nigga, I'm on out here trying to hurt Mike Tyson. But he's, a, he's trying to hurt he's me. He's like, yeah, I'm paraphrasing, but come on, <laughs> man. Like, like, Mike Tyson only got one speed, baby. Yes, God. And that's go speed. Man. You got, you got anything you want to talk about on? Hey, um, it's too late, brother. You need it. Hey, you got to man up, swallow that. Pause. You got to go in there. It's not, I mean, your name is on the line. Like, you can't be talking like that. That's, that's not a good <laughs> hold look. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you saying Roy Jones came back out now? Roy Jones no, came, no. Like, why, it, not? It, it, why not? Why not? Why not? If, why not? If this Roy is the case... If this is the case right now, him saying that, he can't say anything. Like, he can't even get sick. Everything is an excuse at this point. If he backs out, if he gets a, a hangnail, he cannot back out of this fight at this point because everything is an excuse. You just look because because we already got the evidence that you think it's a mistake. So if you come out and say, I got a paper cut and I can't box, niggas are not buying that, man. Come on, question, man. You, question. You. How do you feel about the people who are – Saying, man, I want to see Tyson fight Holyfield, the battle of the ear. Because Holyfield <laughs> is out here training. Holyfield, because Tyson was like, hey, my career needs retribution. I'm paraphrasing. But he was like, wow. hey, my career, like, I'm looking at this something different for my career. Like, when I kind of fell off at the end, like, this is something that's going to. I'm paraphrasing, of course. Don't kill uh, me in the comments. But he mm. was like, hey, man, this is something that's going to give me a different level and like people gonna look at me differently how i ended my career if i come back and i i watch roy jones roy mm. jones like bruh i thought this was for charity i thought i'm gonna get a little sign you gonna get a little sign this for charity you up here talking about you trying to knock my head off but in the meantime holyfield is on the sideline saying my ear needs retribution mm. I, wow. want to fight, I want to fight tyson I, I, and Tyson has openly admitted on the Joe Rogan podcast that hey, Holyfield name was out there, um, Shannon Briggs name was out there, Tyson Fury name was out there, Deontay Wilder, because Tyson is Tyson, and people are still out there who are telling Tyson, hey, look, I'm gonna give you X amount up front, long as you agree to it, mm-hmm. I can make a fight happen for you tomorrow, bro. Cause you mm. are Mike Tyson, you can make thirty or forty million. We can give of four, name alone. We can give four million to charity, but you gotta fight Roy Jones, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Evander Holyfield. Nobody mm. really. Some people don't want to see you fight Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury, just because they don't want to see you lose, or those guys don't feel like, hey, I can't lose to Mike Tyson right now. They don't want it. You know what I'm saying? They don't want it. Mm. That boy's a dog, though. Or, Mike's a... or, or it could be the sanctioned bodies saying, hey, we're not going to sanction this fight. You're 50 plus years old. Mm. We're, we we don't want to be on the bill for you. If, if something you happens. Why, yeah, man. Like, boxing is a 1099 sport. People forget that, man. You're an independent contractor, so. Right. Man, I, I don't. Sad. I'm going to give you the floor again. I'm sorry. I'm going to cut you off. I was oh no! Set no. the table for you. And I think Evander. Um, I would. I would like to see Evander too. I mean, just I guess it depends on what type of shape. Um, 
event is in. Uh, you know, it, has he been doing stuff in the gym? And is he staying, you know, in shape? Um, uh, matter of fact, shout out to Evander Holyfield. I met him one time, and he was a very, very hospitable guy, man. He actually gave me a, a glass of water himself, right? And I appreciate that. But look, I, I would like. I, I've seen Evander twice. Okay. One, once I didn't get to talk to him. The second time I saw him at a waffle, I was not too far from his house. Okay. When I didn't um, know he lived here in Atlanta. But okay. Both times he was a gentleman. He was super respectful. Right. And and I wasn't ready with the camera. He was on the move and he was all for it. But my shit okay. was right. Was <laughs> like, oh my God. But, uh, but at the end of the, that was the first time. Matter of fact, the second time, I don't think I even hit him with the picture shit. At that point, I was more comfortable where I was. Okay. I don't think I even hit him for the picture. I just wanted to shake his hand and chop it up with him. And I just talked to him about life and, you know what I'm saying, real quick. Because right. that second time I saw him, it was at a Waffle House. Okay. And he was okay. picking up an order. He, that nigga just walked in. And he picking up, like, bags. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> like, he, like he had Louis V, but I didn't know he owned the mansion across the street, which, yeah. is, now, which is now owned by Rick Ross. Wow, but, he um, when I met him, it was at his um his studio. I don't know if he still has a studio, of course, a studio in, in Atlanta. It was you know in Atlanta, and um I was there, and um and Bone Crusher was there. We was doing um a remix when I was with um with um VA Frontline back in the day, and we was got there, um they answered the door. And he just came, Bone Crusher and some other guy was like sitting on the, in the chairs playing um, PlayStation or something. And came in there and he came from the back and he was like, hi, nice to meet you guys. My name is Evander. Like, we don't know who you are. Like, we look at your face. He, he just said his first name. Like, he, we just meeting for the, you know, his man is like, you guys want some water? I'm like, yeah. And I'm thinking like, he's going to um, call somebody. Hey, bring these guys some. I said, like, yeah, I said, I'll take some water. He, he was like, got oh. it. yeah, he said, yeah, no, he said, come follow me. So I'm walking right behind the Vander Holyfield into the kitchen that's in the studio. Pause and... real quick, though. You still don't know this is Evander Holyfield. No, no, I know that's Evander Holyfield. At yeah, that I'm point, just... you realize. No, Does no. Everybody I... else know this. No, all of us know who he was. I'm just saying that when he came in and said, hi, I'm a Vander. It's like, it's strange. Like, sir, we know who you are. Nice to meet you. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was saying. But. But he said, yeah, come, you want some water? Come on. So walk behind, you know, I was walking to him in the kitchen. And I'm thinking to myself, Evander Holyfield is giving me a glass of water himself. And, of course, I saw the ear. I definitely looked at the ear while he wasn't looking. I was trying to look at it while he looked. I definitely looked at the ear. So Evander, hey, I'm sorry I had to. But and he got went in there, got it, poured me a glass of water, gave it to me. And he's like, how, how was y'all trip? Where y'all from? From Virginia. Okay, okay. Well, I hope, you know, I got everything set up for you guys. Hope y'all have a great session. Shook his hand. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. Would I want to see him fight Tyson again? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I think that would be an awesome fight. Um, Whether it's exhibition or not, battle of the ear, my nigga. Like, yes, sir. Like, I, thought that, I think that would be more competitive than Tyson versus Roy Jones. Do you think Roy Jones even stands a chance against Mike Tyson? No, and I don't think it's a fair fight. Not at this level where Roy Jones has has lost a lot of his uh his speed and his uh motor skills and uh, his reaction. It sounds like he lost a lot of his dog too, talking about he think it's a mistake. I ain't gonna go there because I, I, I ain't sparred with the man. I would love to spar with Roy Jones. I'll take that ass weapon. You know what I'm saying? Hey. On camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody know me? Like, I love that boxing shit, man. Like, hey, can I say something, though, right quick? Because I'm, I'm... You can say I, whatever you want, can Yeah, I don't want to... Because I, I don't want to forget. I don't go know if ahead, you ever... Hey, hey real quick. I'm going to mute my mic and my camera for obvious reasons. But go ahead. Say it. But, Are you asking me a question? Yeah, I'm kind of kind of at the, at the same Ask time. Ask me a question, but go ahead. It's like, have you seen, you seen that interview that Mike did? I can't remember if it was his show or somebody else's show. But he was basically in tears talking about how he hates the person he is now. He's talking about, I miss that guy. Talking about himself, the old him, the fighter in him. You had to see it. I know you've seen it. I've seen Mike talk about that several times. I've seen him on Joe Rogan podcast. And I mean, he was 
basically yeah, in I tears. Cr- Listen, I seen him say he hate. That's why he don't train to fight no more. Because somebody was like, do you still train? And he was like, nah, I don't like it because I don't like the person that makes me. I don't like I don't like what it makes me become. And then he was like, hey, like when I do this, like the guys of the guys of war shine. Like I've heard Mike. Look, Mike is human. I've heard Mike contradict himself, and mm. I don't judge him for it. That's okay. what I'm trying to say. I okay. Heard Mike, I heard Mike say he don't like to do it, and he don't even work out no more. He said this was before the Roy Jones shit. He's like, I don't work out no more, because and I don't do that because once I start doing it. I see my body change and like it's like the guys of war summoning in me. Like he said, some psychedelic shit. To make and that's it, why that's scary. what was, it's scary. That's what I'm saying. And then he like, said, I don't like the person who come. I become a monster. I'm like, nigga, fuck you, nigga. Like nigga, I eat your like like. I, be- I, I believe. I believe. Him. I believe. I believe. Him. Bro, I'm, I'm gonna give you, you. My, I gotta pee real quick. I'm gonna give you the floor. I'm gonna let you talk about this, but I'm gonna let you know. I'm buying this Mike Tyson fight. I don't care when it is, when it's happening. If Mike Tyson is talking about fighting, nigga, I'll be a pre-order. Just so he'll know <laughs> on one of those people that's like, nigga, oh I'm going to give you the $100 God. up front. Just take the money. Take the yeah. money, nigga. I'm going to give you the 100 Nigga, I, I think that's the question. That's the question we need to ask people. How much are you willing to pay for a Mike Tyson fight versus Roy Jones? Or how much are you willing to pay See him versus anybody. Are you willing to buy a fight? Is boxing that fucked up right now that we paying to see a fifty plus year old man fight yeah. another fifty plus year old man? And it's yeah. gonna sell. Yeah, it's gonna sell. I'm gonna go piss, man. Go ahead, go ahead, and talk about it real quick. Okay, stretch so, your shit out. Give me forty five seconds. I got you. So, base definitely this this fight is gonna sell. Mike Tyson is still. Um, an active um, person, and like as far as like pop culture, like he's still on on Instagram, all his social media platforms. He, you, you can't forget Mike Tyson. He's an iconic person, one of the greatest to ever do it. And I'm not like some type of boxing um, expert. I know, you know, like I know all the ins and outs of boxing, but I do know who Mike Tyson is. You know, I grew up seeing Mike Tyson fights. I grew up going like with my dads and my uncles to people's houses to go see a Mike Tyson fight. Though it only lasted for a few seconds, Mike Tyson is a killer. It is just something about seeing somebody that's addictive to being great or achieving greatness or respects the art and what they do. Um, And that goes with anything. You know, rapping, producing. Um, if you're a, a painter or an auto mechanic, somebody that's just dedicated and just like you can see the animal in somebody when they just hit this this zone of where they can't be stopped, and it's just something different about this person. And that's what I see in Mike Tyson, like Roy Jones, great champion. You know, I, I saw I saw some of his fights too. I haven't seen all of them, uh, but Roy Jones was a bad man, bad man. Like I just remember him always being like super cocky, but could back it up. There's a lot of people that talk a lot of junk, run their mouth, but when they get in that ring, they get quiet. Roy Jones, he's like in there, like dancing, shimming in and all, and and still whooping ass. You can't argue with a man like that. But Mike Tyson is a different animal. Like, you got, like, Muhammad Ali. You got Tyson. And then it's, like, everybody else. I mean, and I might be wrong. Sonny Liston, all them guys back in the day. But it's just a certain level, a certain tier of fighters. And Mike Tyson is, is at that tier of, like, Muhammad Ali, those type of boxers. Everybody else is like, huh. Like, may not be at the top, but Mike Tyson is just gonna buy different. Fight, though, right? We yeah. all going to buy this if I, if I don't buy it, I'm at somebody's house right. chipping in 
to watch that shit. I'm, I'm right. there. I don't want to miss it. If we doing the Corona shit, you know what I got planned? Was that? I'm, 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 a, I'm. I think I'm gonna open up the Nash Mansion. Okay. Jones Mansion, and I'm gonna probably put, uh, put, have it on HDMI, and I just run the long HDMI shit and had that shit projected off a fence, almost like it, like you know how you go to a drive-in movie theater. Because mm. I did that before when I had the uh, Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor. Okay. I had a bigger event. I had a bigger event than I normally have at my house. So I had the shit on every TV in the crib. I had it on every studio. I had the shit in the garage. I had the shit on the projector. So if you was in a, if you was just walking by, walking your dog that night, you can see the fight on my garage. Okay. If you was in the house, and you was in the backyard in the fence, you can see the shit on the fence. <laughs> and mm. I think I, I think it's gonna be some shit I probably do like that for Tyson Roy Jones. And I okay. think that's what I'm gonna start doing more now here. Especially okay. doing this shit. I just end up doing it that way because I had two projector screens. So if okay. I put one on the fence, put one on the garage doors. Well, guess, hey, guess what then? I'll come to your house then. All right, man, fuck with me. <laughs> man, let's close this shit out, man. It's been another great episode of Breaking the Beats. It's your boy, Martin Nash. Shout out to my co-host, man. Introduce yourself again. Tell the people where they can follow you at. Hey, what's up, man? This is Toga. Back in here once again. Uh, you can call, follow me on almost every social media platform at The Outstanding Great. It's a pleasure to be here, my brother.